Hey, do you ever feel like these suspensions are too small for your creation? Maybe you made a small trophy truck, right? You used the normal suspension, maybe some, you know, uh, steering hinge suspension on the back. But you realize that this thing is tiny and you want an upgrade. You want to make it bigger. But you realize that the suspension is just too small. And, you know, you don't have the DLC. So you need to make your own. As you can see, the title of this video, I'm going to teach you how to make your very own trophy truck suspension enlarged. Let's get into it. Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own very own trophy truck suspension. Basically, you go to the workshop, you download this blueprint right here, and then you build the body on top. Well, that's all. Um, see y'all in the next one. Bye. Nah, I'm just kidding. That's a good way. But I'm going to show you how to do it. All the settings and stuff, and uh, basically how to make your own. So, we have a bunch of engines. Uh, first, let's let's look at the front suspension. No, no, the back is way more simple. So we'll do the back suspension first. Um, we have power coupling. Two of them. It, it you might want to do a different system than I did because you might want to limit the range of your steering hinge because when they are less strength than a hundred they can move more than 20 degrees so basically I have all of a lot of steering hinges actually all of my steering hinges except for the ones that are helping me turn are connected to this uh, uh, nor gate so that they're all always active so th that gives this steering hinge and this one so they both have the same uh, angle 20 speed uh, doesn't matter strength 30 you will have to strengthen your suspension because of uh, the weight that you put on them, depending on how much weight you put on your uh, vehicle. So let's move into the um, how the front suspension is made. So we have uh, power coupling, obviously. So we have the limiters on top, the power coupling limiters to make sure that the um, suspension doesn't go too far down, which is a problem which can be a problem, but the power couplings on the bottom um, here keep it from going too far up. And the reason that they are all on uh, pistons is because I wanted it to look good. So we have the power couplings on the bottom. Hold up, let me go into free cam. Here we go. So we look at here so we have it bending just like the ones on top um to create this nice little thing you don't really have to do that i just did it because i wanted my uh i don't know it might work differently you might have to have different strengths on the uh, uh hinges or not i don't really know but let's get back into build mode and I will show you the uh, settings for all of the front suspension steering hinges. They're all the same because they basically all do the same job. Um, so speed doesn't matter. Angle 20. Um, I'll show you guys the body. Like I made one with a body so that you can... Um, have that as a point of reference and this is 737 kilograms so it's not very heavy well compared to the other one and uh, the strength 
is 20 so it gives that nice cushion effect so all of the top ones have the green downward because we were hooked into the nor gate so they create a positive all the yeah all the ones on the top row here are um, this one this this one over here this one and this one so the ones connecting to the pipes are all um, the green is facing down the ones oh wait hold up sorry the ones on the inside the ones connecting to the body all are downward the ones connecting to the wheels are all upward or in outside okay okay so these over here are both uh, going upward and this one and this one are all all four of these are going up the ones straight onto the wheels not those these steer but these need to go outward just like this one this one also needs to go outward because it needs to bring the wheel upward to make it level and not have a re so uh, technically you could have camber uh, if you want it I think that's correct I, I think camber is the right word um, but yeah so that's how you do that um hold, what else the pistons right um so the inside pistons the ones on the body um are at half i think i think all of these are half and then all of these out here are zero so they um are all the way in like i said you probably don't have to do that i just did because i wanted to look better um the distance is uh has to be this long because um of this up here preventing it from obviously going too far down and these prevent it from going too far up so yeah that is the it for um the speaking part I guess um I put a gyro on the back to make sure it doesn't fall over uh it's probably way too strong at the moment but you know it's fine okay well I tried to test out the ability there's no curve um let me just go to the smaller ramps over here by the way this is dragon city i don't remember the creator but you know it's not that hard to find on the workshop the mod workshop so only if you're playing on pc can you uh, play pretty good landing obviously um i think a little bit of impact damage but oh it's all good these right here so this provides the little um 10 degree actually i think i want 15 on this instead so this needs to be strength 100 15 uh maybe not strength 100 could probably go with some uh like bounciness to it so that it does so it does have some shock absorbing but basically that puts the tires in front of your front bumper um if you want to make like a rock crawler or something you just put the camber on more and this is not actual water because you can't actually make water on using the map thing but yeah so it's all-wheel drive typically trophy trucks are just rear wheel drive but i do have the top layer is does does not is not connected to the front tires so we but all of them are connected to back tires so basically we have more power in the back than the front kind of like a trophy truck but you can't just not have the front tires they just don't work very well 
When you do that, oh goodness. This map has some weird collisions, apparently. Actually, this over here is really good for uh, showing off the back suspension. How it bends and like that. You know, how it just bends over. So if we go on the, the flat part, yeah, 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 yeah. I think the front suspension is kind of hard. So, like not soft enough I guess what is that what is this this is like a maze thing I, I don't even know I just I just found this and was like oh there's jumps on this map so I'm gonna use it I tried to use a uh, a different map but it didn't work so I'm gonna put the body on it I'm going to show you the one with the body on it. So it's basically the exact same thing as this little dude right here, but bigger. Um, the bumper is a little weird on the front. Could be lower down. Uh, but as you can see, oh, it looks a little weird in build mode because uh, it, it underneath is the exact same as it was before I just added a lot more engines it had to be the strength had to be turned up um, just just because it had to um, so these are now on strength 40 instead of um, 20 I think on the other one so and then we just Deselect this, this, and these up here because we don't want them. Um, check this angle 45, strength 45. Uh, works pretty good. Um, now what did I have on here? Angle 15. So this one already had an angle 15. So I, I did, don't need steering help. Okay, so yeah. As you can see, it's a lot heavier. Ugh. Oh goodness. Okay, it's a it's a lot a bit heavier. So it does have a. It's being super weird right now. I don't know why. It's uh yeah sixteen hundred. So almost a thousand more kilograms than the other one. Just putting a body on it. Uh, I didn't even do it interior because I was running out of time. I'm still running out of time to record. But uh, yeah, um, that's basically every. I, I might like make this angle even more because it's kind of trying to catch on everything. So like twenty degrees, because like inside of it, you can't go too far. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Maybe. I might have to, like, scoot it back. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Still needs a lot more, uh... Oh, goodness. I think... The bumper is too far in the front. Or something. I don't even know. Yeah, it's just trying to go through the ground. Yeah, this map doesn't have... Very good collision, so wait, hold up. Let me turn the map off. It's gonna freeze. Great, that's just great. No, yeah, um, well, now you can see what I use for uh, filming. Well, that was an uh, annoying turn of events, so uh, yeah, I guess. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, please tell me what y'all want to see next. Um, join my Discord so we can hang out and play. Uh, together. If you saw my last video, uh, one of my Discord members, we had a dogfight. Supersonic. It was really difficult. It was a lot more about uh, skill than actually shooting each other down. It was more of who can control their plane better. Yeah. So, please uh, subscribe if I have earned it, and I will see y'all in the next one. Goodbye.